What's up, your boys and girls? I did not check the mic. I just went right straight to recording, so... But your boy is back. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Um, you know what? So, today, I promise you, another story time video. Oh, my goodness. What is that? I have an alert on my phone. Um, uh, turn that off. But it's your boy back. Philly's back again. Well, I'm his third story time video. I had to make sure. I had to make sure. And this one is a funny one in my opinion. But you might not laugh. But I'm going to laugh because it was funny when it happened to me. So let's get straight into it. Growing up in elementary school. And those, well, most elementary school. As a little kid. First grade, kindergarten, first grade. I was an angel. Like every teacher loved me. I did all my work. I got good grades. Perfect attendance. Blah, blah, blah. I was, a, I was a perfect little child. Second grade, like midway through second grade, I hit a roadblock. Um, I started acting out. I uh, didn't really do good. I was standing on tables, then under tables, not paying attention to the teacher, doing my own thing, and not listening, talking back. I threw a book at someone once, but <laughs> um, a pen for someone. But I was not the best student I could have been. I'll admit that. Uh, but so yeah, there was that. I was not the best student possible. I was pretty darn bad. Um, not that bad, but I was a problem. Like really was for the teacher. So you know, but um, uh, so it was. I don't know what year it was. I want to say, so this, this story basically that I know, but this, like, even though I had problems and stuff like that, I still passed, I did good. I never went to summer school, except for one incident where I kind of went to summer school, but kind of didn't. And, um, that's the story for today. So, the story is about how I went to summer school, uh, my first time in summer school, first and only time in summer school. So, high school, never went to summer school, middle school, nope. Elementary school, nope. College, not yet. Like, college and summer school, it's not even summer school you use register to take summer classes. It's not a bad thing. That's a pretty good thing if you want to fix a grade or you want to, excuse me, get ahead of grade, get ahead of, oh my goodness, or you want to get ahead of like the criteria or whatever. So technically, that's not too bad in college. But um, so I went to, I never really went to summer school for this one time. So let's get into the story. This so technically is I don't think it was between. I want to say between third and fourth or fourth and fifth, I can't be sure. Uh, one of my teachers, whoever it was, recommended me that I go to some reading thing because apparently I was below reading grade at the time. I, I could read, I know how to read. My speech is bad, and I acknowledge that constantly. This is why I have a YouTube channel to help me fix that. But I can't read, and those people trying to insult me saying I can't, I hate that. They're trying to say I can't read, but I can read. Just let you know that I can read. But, um, so we got to, so, they recommend me I do this at the summer, summer thing, summer pro class, school program, to, like, help me boost my reading game, my English grade, and whatnot. My mom bought into it, and was like, yeah, I'm gonna send him there, I'm gonna sign him up, sign him up. I was like, oh, no, you gotta be kidding me, I'm not trying to, my summer's gone, I'm not trying to do this, like, no, I'm not a summer school kind of child. I don't want that summer school food, I don't want to be in summer school, period. End of story. So. I got so first day they have all like in the, in the auditorium chilling and whatnot and I guess they call each class one by one I think it was and so my mom was there I was like I don't want to be here I don't need this I'm too smart for this I'm not stupid I can read I, I know everything I'm not this summer school for bad kids who don't know anything who don't pay attention I'm not that kind of kid blah 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 and then so um. They took me off to the class. My mom, I think, she, I, well, I thought she left. Remember that. Remember that part. I thought my mom left. So they took me there. Um, I'm in the class. And then, uh, so basically, the, 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 so we're in the classroom now. We're sitting down. I've been to class. I think I, I was like, oh, this classroom. I think I had this classroom before. I think I uh, had, um, um, I had some, uh, one of my years, I, used to, I think I used to be in this classroom. So I was like, this is familiar for me. I know how to move around this area. I know I know the tricks and spots, the high spots, different range, but I know the gist of it. So I was like, "I, summer school is real. This is happening for me. Oh boy, this is gonna be garbage, and it was garbage." So the first day, I was, you know what? At that moment in time, I was like, "I, 
I don't know none of these kids around me, so I feel like one person. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make myself known in this classroom. How I'm gonna do that? I was like, I'm gonna be the bad boy in this classroom. I'm gonna be the one that all the little third grade, fourth grade girls of the yard look up to me. I was when I say that I was in third grade too, that don't, don't sound creepy. But um so I want them to look at me and be like, Yeah, that's that's ooh, he cute, oh he bad, you know what? That was my goal. Cause I never had I was I was like, you know, I was a little kid, that was my goal back then. So I'm here chilling in my chair, laid back like this, like, you know, just, just chilling like teachers calling names, stuff so people to introduce themselves. So I'm like, I ain't getting to introduce myself, nah, not me, not Kafeli. Nada. So she <laughs> So it got to me, and she was like, please, Ms. Uh, Caffelli, introduce yourself, blah, blah, you're next. And I'm chilling my chair like this, like, nah, that's so nah. I said, no, she got tight. She got tight real quick, too. She was like, I ain't playing no games this summer. You better stand your little behind up and announce yourself to the class. And I'm like, mm, I got up, just chilling in the side, like, mm. my name's Caffelli, you know what I'm saying, third grade, whatever, you know. Just, you know, just mumbling, doing my thing, sat back down, slouching my chair, like, I don't got time for this, man. This is my classroom. I'm running this this throne. This is Game of Thrones, and this is my town, or whatever you call it. I don't watch that show. But it's my stadium where I belong, you know what I'm saying? And so she got tight. And, like, shortly after the introduction, I was like, yeah, I made my statement. All of them looking at me like, ooh, who's this? Oh, who's this kid? Oh, he think he all that. So this, I made my statement known first day. And they say, no, here's this. Knock on the classroom door, so it's like the uh, up high up faculty member saying, "It's like, Mr. Caffelli, is he here? Um, I need to see. Him. Um, he needs to go. His, his mom's here to pick him up." I was like, "I thought she left. This is the first day of school. What's going on here? This is the first day of summer school." And then my mom came and was like, "Come on, you get out. You get out of here. This is not for you. You're not. This is for bad kids. You don't need this. You're too smart for this. You don't need behavior. This, this is a waste of time. Come on, let's go." I was like. Yeah, yes, you know what I'm saying? While I was going to make my statement, I made a big statement by leaving the first day of summer school. So my plan was complete, you know what I'm saying? So my, my mom didn't really, like, soon as I left, she, I thought she left. She went to withdraw me from the summer school program because she thought it was pointless at the end of the day. And I was like, ooh, I love you so much, my mother. Ooh, I was so hyped, you know what I'm saying? I was so hyped. So I was like, let's get it. So they took me out, and then I, my summer was free. I ain't had the nothing for us to some besides chill at home, eat hot pockets, and watch TV all summer long, and that was my summer. I was happy because I feel like I did pretty good for myself, you know. So that was my summer. I, I thought it was funny because I never really went to summer school, but like I went to summer school for like all, all of like 10 minutes, to be honest. And you know what? That changed my life because from that moment on, I was like, I need to do good in school because I'm not going back to this place. <laughs> Heck no. Um, not, not for me. No, not for me. Ooh, the next story I think I got to tell you guys like the jump. Like, that I went from being like this bad kid in like elementary school to instantly stepping back into place in middle school. How I became like the oldest, shyest kid, shyest kid you ever know. But that's it for this story time. Shorter, shorter time frame. I'm liking that. I'm making my video shorter. Thank you for watching. It's your book of Philly. I want to say peace to my boys and girls. Love you guys. Love, uh, love and subscribe. Lo like and subscribe. Please, for me, I will appreciate it because I want to build my channel up. Things looking good for my company and blog and clone brand. Hopefully the blog goes up soon. Thank you for watching again. Peace.